what's up youtube welcome back to the company channel so today we're going to be testing out two new viral products and we're going to do a side by side comparison i'm going to let you guys know what is really worth your coin and what is worth spending your money on so we have the charlotte tilbury and we have the new Danessa myricks blush these are both matte and yeah so if you guys want to know which one is really worth the coin which one's going to really get you what you need then let's jump straight into the video okay you guys so today we finally are about to be doing the charlotte tilbury versus the danessa myricks blush and i'm gonna let you guys know which one you need to purchase because these are both new blushes and they're both matte they're both not expensive because this one's 42 which is expensive this one's 25 so it's a little different in price point but we're gonna see which one is really worth the coin and which one really gives us like a blurred look doesn't you know look textury and everything that has really good payoff and just really worth your coin like which one's really like the part that's like okay like I can justify that price point it's worth it, what you get so let's get into it I'm gonna start off with letting you guys know what's on my face currently so <clears throat> I don't have my mirror in here also guys like I was supposed to make this video days ago but I got sick and y'all know how that go I'm in here like having i had a sinus infection i had to go to the doctor on valentine's day which you know i love valentine's day like me and my boo always like do really cute things on valentine's day for each other and everything and it's just like i was like sick like sick sick so and none of that really happened but um anyways i have on the makeup by mario foundation this is in the shade 12 zero i really like this foundation so this will be like an honest test because to be honest like normally if i'm testing out a foundation or something kind of like it's kind of like not a fair shot because like if i'm testing out a foundation and i put a product on top of it i don't know if it's like the foundation that i don't like or it's like the product but in this case i know i really like this foundation i've worn it a few times and it's really really pretty so i have been testing out like the um good apple serum foundation and what other foundations have I tried out? That's really it as far as right now. There's some more new foundations coming out, so I'm gonna definitely be testing those out on the channel when they drop. Like the Laura Mercier foundations coming out. Shade range is kind of is what it is, but um, yeah. So I have kind of like a little pink eye going on right now. I got um, hold on, where's my sponge? I have the ABH I Am Magic Concealer on. Also, I used the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener underneath it, which I should have got a, a lighter shade in that, but I still I still like it. It still like, does a really good job. It's still really cooling. feels really good on my face. When I woke up this morning, it was 62 degrees in my house, and I'm just like, <laughs> girl, it was too cold. So I'm just like, the metal cooling applicator, once I turn the heater on and I put it on, it's like, it felt really good. So I really like that product. Even though the shade's not like the best for me, it like, looks really good, so let's jump into what you're here for though so i think we should do the nessa myricks on this side charlotte tilbury on this side normally i like this side like so it's like kind of like i don't know is it cheating if i put one of the products on my favorite side but it's like you know we all have that side that's like our good side so <laughs> we're gonna see how this looks okay so i have two of the face expert face brushes from real technique so we're gonna use these on both sides just so we can use like the same brush same everything and really put these to the test. So let's start off with zooming you guys closer in because I need y'all to really be able to see. We can see both sides real good. So my hair is like, I don't know what I want to do with that. I'm thinking about dyeing it, but I'm not about to start talking about all type of other stuff. Let's just do what we gotta do. So let's start off with Charlotte Tilbury. Hopefully I didn't make a mess of this. I did lock it. So make sure you lock it when you're using it. But let's just go on this side. Ooh, I love this foundation. Like my skin looks so good right now. Mm -hmm. this is a good makeup day so let's just uh squeeze some of the product Ooh, the way it comes out on here definitely is a messy product but for let's just also get up here let's just hit right there and like also maybe like right there i mean it's kind of a lot of product but we'll see so let me close that i almost didn't even lock it back that's my problem so so I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending. Wait, let's actually do both sides. This one's just different because it's in a container like this. Hopefully the shades, kind of want these shades to be similar because you know, I am gonna wear this makeup, which is like, <laughs> it's okay if it's not because I'm not really going anywhere. Okay, 
So let's just get our brush in here. This is like a really creamy emollient type of product. You don't need a lot. It's like one of those that's just like pigmented and like really like that off the rip. Like ugh. this every single time I can't. I don't even need all of this. Like every single time I do this, I just am like, why did I just put this much product? I think it just picks up a lot on the brush. Like look how saturated the brush is. It's such a creamy product. So it's kind of difficult. I mean, I'm gonna have to use that brush, but look at this. I look crazy on this side, but like once you get this blended out, it looks good. But let's hurry up because these are matte blushes. Let me stop just talking. So let's just get this one blended out. Definitely blends really nice. So this is Charlotte Tilbury again, just in case you skipped into the video, you just got here, hey girl. <laughs> so um, let's just blend it out. I mean, I really don't even need it all up here. It's more pigmented looking than it did the first day that I applied it. Um, it's definitely looking more pigmented. I mean, I'm definitely putting more product, but it's definitely looking more pigmented. So I'm gonna now take my sponge and Kind of just clean up the edges. I really didn't need it up onto my forehead, but it's fine. So that looks really good. Blended really fast, really pigmented. More pigmented than it was the first day. I don't know if it's like the foundation that I had on that made it the first time not so pigmented. The Good Apple Serum Foundation. Maybe because it's matte, I don't know, but this looks pretty good. I think I like it more than I liked it the first time. Definitely didn't need that much product. I could have been like, okay, with well, like two dots probably or like three max, but really pretty. Now this side is about to be like drama to blend out. <laughs> now let's try to blend this side out real quick. So very pigmented, like y'all, very, very. I'm definitely gonna need a sponge to get this like blended out more. Oh my gosh, the fact I have more product up at the top <laughs> is like what's crazy because this is like very pigmented. I think I'm just gonna have to take the sponge at this point <clears throat> and just kind of blend it out just to kind of tone it down because this blush is very pigmented like I don't know what she put in here straight dye but it's like <laughs> this will get so pigmented and even with like trying to use a sponge it's just like you see how pigmented this is kind of clean up the bottom just so it's like okay <clears throat> wow definitely okay wait i think now we're kind of getting somewhere now they're kind of looking a little bit more similar i mean this side definitely still looks very way more pigmented but i think we're getting somewhere i'm gonna go back in with this brush just to kind of okay the shadow silver is like drying down now i can tell definitely looks more natural I'm trying to just use whatever concealer i haven't like set my under eyes or anything so there's nothing like right there so I'm trying to use the concealer that's like not set, that's still kind of like creamy to blend it out, but it's like very pigmented. But I think that's kind of like blended out enough, just so where we can kind of like see stuff. So things escalated quickly with this, but it does. Like if you watch my first review on this product, like things just went from like boom to bam really quick. It's like, I don't even think that I don't know it's just some really less is so much more with this like every time i wear this i'm just like i don't know why i don't know that already but it's my second time using it <laughs> real quick so Sean tilbury looks smooth definitely setting down has more of like a beige pink tone to it but still like pinky mauvey kind of tones this is more like pinkish red in my opinion but really flushed like the whole cheek out like I used a lot of product on this side but even with that it's like I don't know y'all this is gonna be hard let's like really compare these I'm gonna get some thumbnails of this really quick and then we're gonna like talk about it finish up the makeup and do everything so I'll be right back so I just have to get some thumbnails really quick so they could like you know y'all could see it in the thumbnail too but anyways so as far as oh this side this side this one's this so this is obviously more expensive, obviously. It's Charlotte Tilbury, so you know she's gonna be pricey. And this is 25, so as far as like, I'm gonna kind of break it down for you guys, okay? So if you're looking for something like really pigmented, we'll work on your skin type because this will most likely work on all skin types, 
I would recommend the Danessa Myers because it's gonna give you like pigment color it's gonna like last on your skin it's got really good shades for like all skin types and it's only $25 so if you're like not looking to break the bank you're not looking for like the most luxurious packaging in the world or you know like the most kind I don't want to say clean because to be honest both of the packaging on here gets messy and dirty like with this here this is gonna get dirty and nasty and then with this one as you continue to dip your brush in here, you know, sometimes you get like little hair and stuff like that in here. Your brush is continuously dipping in here. It's kind of like cross contamination, you know what I'm saying? So either way it goes, like it's gonna get messy. As far as this one, you just have to be more like, you know, cautious with closing it um, all the time because you know. So let's see which one has more. So this has 0 0.2, 0 0.2. 21 ounces and this one has 0.4 fluid ounces so you get more in here let me see what's the safer room this it doesn't okay well I don't want to say that because these are two different type of products like one's obviously liquid the other one's not so it's kind of hard to say like you get more in this one but as far as like really using it I feel like you you're gonna get more with this because you use less for sure like you don't need this much like I used a bunch just to really like show you guys and demonstrate and everything like that and also I just go crazy every time I don't know why but you get more because let's say you just use like you just dab your brush in there one time you're gonna use way less than squeezing this out onto the applicator because you're not gonna get every drop of this like of course it's gonna stick to the little poofy ball cotton ball type thing and you're not gonna get everything absorbed out of that so you're kind of like not getting the full fantasy full product out of it um and you might not be able to even get all of it out of here i mean and it's more expensive so i do feel like as far as price point didn't have some as far as what you get more product out of and what's more like messy kind of like packaging wise what wins with packaging Whew. That's a difficult one, but I think I'm gonna say Danessa Myrick still. I do like these, it's like trending, everyone loves these. I do like the applicator, I think it's cool, but I feel like as far as like, you know, this isn't gonna be as messy to me. I'm just thinking like with my everyday use, I feel like this is a little bit more messy. I don't know, but it is what it is as far as that. Now, if you're looking for something luxurious then obviously i'm gonna push you towards charlotte tilbury it is more natural so if you're looking for something natural so if you're looking for something luxury or if you're looking for something natural i would say go with charlotte tilbury because the shades are going to be a bit more natural there's like a light pink a peach shade which is going to be more subtle i'm pretty sure her peach orange shade in this is like vibrant fire like so it's like if you're looking for something more natural i'm going to say charlotte tilbury because as you can see my skin is like very like natural it's like a natural color like you can see the blush on this side this, is this side it's like really natural really subtle I mean then again the Danessa Myricks it's like you can't not I don't know it's like you can't not do something with that blush so if you're like hey I want my makeup to be seen this one if you want something natural this one so it's kind of like where you want to go with it but as far as like what I feel like you get out of the products, mind you, I like both of these. I think they're both really pretty. I'm gonna use both of them. I bought both of them, so like I'm gonna use them. For your coin, I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna have to say Danessa Myricks. This one's nice, it's natural, it's pretty, but it's like natural, but you're spending $42. It's like, you know what I'm saying? When you can keep this one natural, spend $25. Mm, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's like $42 for just a blush. This is $25, that's really almost like half of the price. So I think I'm gonna have to go with Danessa Myricks. We're gonna finish up the makeup and see like everything underneath powder because I do need to set my face. So let's go ahead and set together. Um, I'm gonna, I've been using Elf Halo Glow a lot recently, so I'm gonna use it and it kind of matches my shirt a little bit. This is my boyfriend's shirt. This is a Pop Angels and it's so cute, you know. It's so cute when you get to wear your boyfriend's shirt because they're like, don't get makeup on it. Don't do this, don't do that. And I'm just like, give me the shirt. <laughs> So let's set real quick. I'm gonna set with a brush. I really like this powder. I need to get one of those powder puffs off Amazon. I'm about to probably order some of those. My paycheck should hit today. So today my plans is really just to chill, 
I'm gonna order some more new makeup to test with you guys like throughout the week and yeah so once I get my paycheck I'm gonna be ready to shop like every time I get my paycheck I have to be ready to buy stuff so oh that's what my plans is today but I'm gonna look cute while I'm doing it so <laughs> I'm not gonna do like crazy setting because I really don't need crazy setting. I do just need to set these under eyes. I don't not set my under eyes anymore just because I just be creasing and it's like I have to set them. I really like the Elf Halo Glow Powder though because it's like really lightweight and it gives you a bright effect, but it's also like not just fully matte, which I like because I don't really like fully matte powders. I like something that's gonna give me like a light look it's not gonna feel heavy on my skin that type of vibe so as far as smoothness I definitely feel like this one is way more smooth I mean they both look smooth on the skin but this one like I have even more texture this side's not fair because my skin is like a lot more smooth on this side so I said it's like more of my favorite side because this side has texture that just like doesn't want to go away ever and ever in life but the fact that there's like texture on this side and it's still like kind of more smooth it's like this side i can see some texture which is like weird but I'm not saying that the charlotte tubber is not smooth because it definitely is it's just if i'm gonna give it to who i gotta give it to i gotta give it to who i gotta give it to you know what i'm saying like this one i mean the charlotte tubber doesn't really claim to just be all that blurring the danessa myrix is literally like a blurring bomb it's supposed to be blurring so you know that's like that on that but i feel like these are good for all skin types of both blushes um will be good for dry skin they both have longevity because they're matte and they're both pretty so i'm not saying don't get one or don't get the other but i'm just like helping you buy if you're like don't know which way to go with it <laughs> they're both available at sephora um the pelotox shade for charlotte tilbury is exclusive to the charlotte tilbury website but um all the other shades are available currently at Sephora. I don't know if they're like sold out now, I haven't looked. <sighs> but all of them are available. The Danessa Myrix one, I haven't seen go out of stock, which I was surprised. I thought it was gonna go out of stock, I'm not gonna lie, but. Also, Patrick Star just came out with like those 3D cheek clapper things, but there was like a pink one. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty, I was gonna buy it, but I saw it sold out, I was like, okay. I mean, I don't know what the stock was like on that, but I don't know how much they stocked because it was like, maybe they didn't think it was going to sell out that fast, but the girls is like, are really liking like that pink look, you know, now. So I'm just setting this just to tone it down. I'm not adding any blush or anything. I'm not really adding a lot of powder either. Okay. So yeah, again, like I said, just if you want to like close up other products, if you haven't seen them or something, maybe you haven't but these are the two blushes right here so packaging everything like that real cute but i think i gotta give it to my girl danessa on this one charlotte tilbury i love charlotte tilbury but as far as the pricing and everything for what you get i think danessa really did that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i do want to do more videos like this there's two new bronzers that just came out from tower beauty and milk makeup definitely gonna do like a side by side of those you know because i feel like a lot of brands do that like one company comes out with something and it's like another company is coming out with like the same type of thing and it's like around the same exact time it's like okay i'm pretty sure y'all both have been working on these but like the release dates are really close in time so yeah be sure to be on the lookout for future videos and until then you have to catch my next one so bye